What's good, you guys? It's your boy Jay Freshman. Today, I'm gonna kind of just make a beat starting from a loop and then just kind of branching off and just getting creative with it and then just use my own idea. So I'm gonna show you what I mean in this video. And this is just another creative workflow that you could use when it comes to um, staying creative and not having like beat blocks. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna pick out a sample. All right, so I just want to start off with something crazy, like, so I'm we're going to start off with this kind of loop, match the tempo up, and it shows us what the key is in, and it's in G minor. All right, I like the pitch change for this one. Yeah. So I'm just going to add in my own instruments and I'm not like using any music theory. Usually when I'm in this kind of creative process, I really just use my creativity, meaning like playing by air. Probably just copy this over. Let's get out that first melody. I'm gonna go into Omni Spare with it. And we're just gonna mess around with these expansions. I like this sound. Just gotta turn down the um turn down the sample because the sample is like really interfering with that sound. In this sample, I'm hearing a lot of muddiness. So we want to kind of just bring that down so it can make more space for the other sounds. Let's see. All right. And now I'm going to make another melody on top of that. All right, so I got that, and now we could put this sound into Omni Spare. Go back to one of these expansion packs. We could probably even do an ARP. So that's the good thing about having these like stretched out melodies instead of the quicker ones. So I'm gonna go with this ARP. I like this ARP because it's different and it's like a whole nother sound in itself. So let's just hear it by itself. People are going to be like, dude, what the hell is that? And that's like what I aim for when I come up with my beats. I want to be, people to be like, dude, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then let's hear this. The ARP sounds like it's more mono. Not a sample. So when it comes to leveling these sounds, what I just did, so I want the sample to be the loud sound, but I also want the other sh sounds to have this clarity. So I had to lower the sample a bit and, you know, EQ it like I did before. Now we could get into our drums. Go with something punchy, turn it up. So off the back, I'm already going to make my kicks hit hard. And that's what you want to do so you could just get more into the vibe. Sometimes... You pick out the right sounds, but you just didn't turn it up enough to really hear that it fits. It just needs to be turned up a bit.
All right, so I got the kicks and the hi hats, and we're just gonna go. So, like how I do in my other videos, I like to just set up the intro and then let it go into the drums. And kind of cut off this part. Let's get a bit closer. Dropping the tag like it's like the beat is already done. And we also going to get a crash. I just want something to reverse, build the anticipation even more. Drop some shit. Let's get the snares going. So you see, that shit just knocks. So we're going to use different drums and honestly, you don't really need to use before you switch out your drums, kind of just think about the pitch. Maybe the pitches just need to be changed. So try to mess with the pitches first. So I'm going to find the pitches for the other drums. I like that pitch for the kicks. Now I can tell the snare needs a different pitch. And a little uh, turn it down. You don't even know that shit, you don't even know that shit, yeah. You don't even know that shit, you don't even know that shit, yeah. You don't even know that bitch, you don't even know that bitch. You don't even know that shit, you don't even know that shit. So I'm gonna make another pattern because I wanna have like a drum fill at the end. And then we can just have that go down. Kind of mess with the velocities for that part. And I might just add these two kicks and have the snare play right here. Just a little creative idea. So you could do the kick or you could do the snare. What I'm gonna do is I really wanna do the kick, so but I like the snare, so I'm gonna just turn it down very low. J 
Sometimes you don't have to compromise. So you didn't hear the kicks, but I kind of want to still hear the kicks, so I'm going to just turn it up a little bit. Also, you can even pan them. That's another thing that I'm forgetting about. I can have these panned and then have the kick do its thing. And I can turn these volumes back up. Let's see how that sounds. That, that would be cool. Yeah, because I want that shit just flying around in your ear like... You know, let's go crazy. All right, so we could do hi-hat rolls before we get into the bass. I'm not going to go too crazy because I just really want to jump to the bass. But let's just get something out. So I'm just going to have basic hi-hats for this one. You can get crazier with this. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to listen to my first melody because that's what's being more of the focal point that you're hearing. So for my bass line, I can actually use this melody because this melody is actually acting as if it was the bass line. Just listen to the um the sound right now. Listen to that. And that's why I said it's the focal point because your ear is drawn to that short melody that you're hearing. And, you know, usually when you have long 808s, like I said, you want a shorter melody rather than it be as fast as your kicks playing or a copy of your kicks. So I'm going to just... Honestly, could just copy and paste. Drop it an octave. I'm not going to turn the bass all the way up because I don't want it to be too distorted. I want the bass to be smooth at the same time. All right, so now we can hear it all the way through. Yeah, that shit is hard. And you could do more with it. Obviously, you could arrange the beat a lot better. I don't think you need to add any more sounds. You can add like more percussion sounds, if anything, for a more bounce. But this just shows you that, you know, from a loop, you could really make a whole creative idea just from a loop. And I was going to take the loop out, but I really like how this loop sound behind the actual melodies. But you could build another melody on top of yours and then take the loop out either way. So like and subscribe if you like this and share with your other producer friends.